All right, we live. We live, let's crack them, boys. We got Carter, we got Willie in the house. Willie, you wanna hop on for your uh, your big moment right now? You're still scared. Hey guys, cause the, uh, the plan here is we're gonna start having uh, Hero's journeys of other people's uh, journeys. And where, where y'all have started, where you're going, and I think that'd be kind of cool, you know? That's the, the point of this show, I think, is to check my levels, is to um have people, look, my little little circle in my eyes, is it there? Yeah, a real little one. I have this off to the side, the new uh, circle light, trying to fit in. Oh, weekend vibes, it's not the weekend, but every day is the weekend uh, at the beach. Wool says he's scared. True, true. Um, I'm just trying to think of a quote. I don't know why I was thinking fear, the fear quote. Can't remember. No fear. This is the yeah, Carter. These are my favorite. This is, um, yeah, uh, Coronado Brewing Company. Coronado Brewing Company. This is, this is probably my top, top, uh, top five, top three favorites. These this new brewery I just found that I like a lot. I forgot the name of it. And then obviously Space Dust is up there. Some of my favorites. Shooting uh, shooting vertical like the iPhone right now. And this is a cool looking shot. I got my little my three point lighting set up. Got my fancy robe on. My uh, Tommy Bahama. You can read that. I think it says like divine, divine intervention or something. It's kind of funny though. Oh no, is this? Yeah. It's funny cause uh, I'll come on this weekend though. Okay, okay, Will, we got Will, we got a, uh, yeah, cause I'm stacking up play people. Carter, uh, it'd be cool to have you on too, man. If you want to do like a hero's journey and it would basically be, I think at first just to make them easier, I'll do it like via Instagram. So we can just do the interview on Instagram Live, and then I'll download it from there and use the audio from Instagram because there's there's a little bit of uh, it's kind of hard when you're using like one audio then another audio source etc. So to start we'll do it on Instagram. I think ideally it'd be nice to have like good camera and good audio for both. Carter said I could be down to let's talk offline. Perfect, sweet Andy. Yeah, so basically, um, Will says Tommy Bahama and has a little smiley face, uh, emoji guy. Cool, Carter. Yeah, I mean, it, it, would, it would be, I wouldn't even have, I would have a couple little notes, but it would be basically just like a podcast where you go, where you watch someone on a podcast and they have a uh, guest and, you know, it would kind of be me just interviewing you. And really the tagline is, you know, where'd you start and how'd you get to where you are today and that arc of the of your journey so you might not be at the end you might not have just climaxed <laughs> I don't uh, that's uh, delete that I want to get canceled I, I didn't mean that in the rated NT 17 I meant like in a movie the climax is the end where the person's hanging off the cliff are they gonna make it are they not that's the climax and then after that's the resolution so you might not be at your climax yet, but I think, you know, we've all, the goal is to have people on that I think at least have, you know, lived enough life to have, have a good story. And we've all, you know, we've all struggled, we've all suffered. So really a lot of the Hero's Journey interviews, I think will be, you know, kind of what, what are your struggles? What, how did you get to where you are? You know, I mean, Carter, you live in San Diego, you're killing it, you're surfing massive waves, you know, Will, um, you know. You're in bumfuck Virginia, you know, you're killing it. <laughs> uh, I peaked a long time ago, Tree. Uh, true, Andy, but but actually not true. Um, I think you're right in your prime right now. You know, for, for, for guys, you know, we, we hit our stride mid-30s. That's, we're at our prime. We got Nick, Nick Tudor's, hold on, dude. Mid-30s, guy, you're, you're just at your prime. If you, at this point... My goal, I think a lot of people in the 30s, 
should be just to get the 40 with your health and just keep stacking your wealth. Health and wealth, well, health and wealth, yo, keep stacking. That sound like Ali G. Yo, or uh, that the other gang in the Ali G movie. Remember like in the Ali G in the house movie, they had like rival English gangs. Oh, I forgot the name. Another really funny scene is that movie when the blind guy is cleaning stuff. And then Ali G's lot. Go watch Ali G in the house. I think it might be on Netflix. It's an awesome movie. Awesome movie. It's underrated. Ali G in the house. Underrated. Um, But the guy, the blind guy's cleaning stuff. And then he's like doing this motion. And then he gets the Ali G who's locked up. And he's like, oh, this knob's extra dirty. And he starts like jacking off uh, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> Ali G, because he's blind and he thinks it's a knob. <laughs> it's a hilarious scene. That movie's awesome. And the funny thing about the Ali G movie is it's it's scripted. It's like narr it's a narrative movie and it's scripted. So it's it's fun, kind of funny to watch, like, especially when it was right in the Ali G's prime when Ali G was like his main thing, more so than Borat and um Bruno and, and all the other ones. So it was kind of fun to watch him, you know. And now he's in like He's a great actor. I really enjoy him. And, you know, now he's in a lot of serious movies. And that was his first kind of real movie where it was just more scripted and actually, you know, had a big crew and cast. He's not going around pranking people. Um, Will says, I'm getting to 40 with a mullet. Yep, yep. Will, we're, uh, I'm in. I'm growing this. This, look, this is funny. I'm, like, back to, I have, like, two modes. I have... How am I looking on the A7 III? A7S III is looking good. I'm kind of low, but I'm going to have title above me. Big Hero's Journey title. That's the new thing. As always, says Hero's Journey. Maybe it says the episode underneath. And I'm going to start shooting 16 nines and stacking them. Because usually I like to have the captions underneath. And they're not blocking nothing. And then a title over top. So, you know, basically I'm chilling right in the middle. Yeah, I mean, I got a kind of a mullet. I mean... Well, the problem is, Will, I mean, you're probably, like, at that point where you get kind of nervous to cut hair because then, is it going to grow back, right? <laughs> I'm pretty lucky. I'm pretty lucky. I got to, um, I have it. I'm not going to mess with this, the Sony anymore because I, I'm going to leave a nice big gap right here and the title will go right there, hopefully. You can't see my feet, can you? I kind of like that. The robe's killing it. You guys can't see the robe right here, but... Well, you know it. You know it. What's going on, Will? Yeah, maybe this weekend. Um, Andy Minisan is going to do one, too. Minisan. He's a famous musician now, so. I want to do a Meyerholtz. Shout out John Meyerholtz. I want you on. And, you know, just, you don't even have to be shit. You could be, you know, a, a big loser, and I still want you on because we all have our, we all have, we're all, Starring in our own movie. I look good on the iPhone right now. I'm looking good. And also this, uh, oh, Will said, beer's looking great. With the exclamation point. I gotta dip out in a sec. Okay. Haha, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, cool, man. Well, thanks, thanks for, I know it's late for you. Um, I'm gonna pin your comment. I know it's late for you. Thanks for stopping by. I wasn't gonna do a hero's journey, but I wanted to do a quick update from the camera video. So, I filmed with my older camera, my new camera. I thought it was going to be a drastic difference. It turns out it wasn't even that much a different of a difference. And some people even chose the A7 III image over the A7S III. So thank you to everyone that kind of DM'd me or just answered kind of the, the point of the video. And it really helped me realize that a couple of things. First off, we'll set here for the journey. Yep, yep. Uh, P. Monglet, is that you? Uh, Peyton? Or who, is that Peyton? What's up, man? If that's you, um, cool. Thumbs up. Yeah, what's up, dude? Uh, so the the camera battle, the camera battle. I realized the image, the screen on the A7S III is a lot better. The screen you look at that sees the image, and I didn't realize how much the screen on the A7 III kind of just sucks. Like so, when I was filming, I was looking, and I had picture profile off on the A7 III which I usually shoot in this Cine, Cine 4 kind of custom one I made. We got Scotty Rowe. The Cine form, Scotty, the new bangers are popping off. Custom one I made. But like Sony, until the new, until the A7C, 
and the more and more expensive Sony cameras or this a7S III, Sony's always struggled, talking a million miles an hour, has always struggled with skin tones. Looks like you're like dying or you're, something's going on. A7S III finally got the skin, the skin looking great. I love how I look on the A7S III. A7 III, it was still a little, but then I, when I, and the lighting was pretty good when I shot that video, the camera battle, I had both cameras the same and I turned picture profile off in the a7 III as opposed to having it as I usually have with my custom setting. And I was pleasantly surprised that the a7 III actually looked awesome. And it was almost, they almost looked very close. There was a teeny bit of color difference. And I think that's because of the 10 bit and the 8 bit difference. But the a7 III really holds its own and I'm excited because now Scott said, we all loving the look. Thanks, Scott. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I got this new circular light that... Shout out, Kate. Avocado... Avocado... Wo, avocado... Wo, ho. I, I'm not going to be able to say it right, Kate. Sorry. Um, got a sick circular light. If I get crazy... Oh, no. I can't go further than this. You can't see it. Either. Oh, there you go. See this thing. It's kind of sick. It's kind of my new best friend. And I have it to the side so it doesn't make too much of a circular light issue. I was gonna say, get yourself an avocado. Whoa. I think that's how you say it, yeah. She told me again and I I'm not smart enough or something. Um yeah, Scott, those new bangers are sick. And ah uh, shit, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so long story short, now when I have both cameras. I'm gonna try to do these more with both a both Sony cameras and then edit them together. It adds a little more editing, but it'll be cool to kind of be talking in one camera. The other one cuts. So I'll just add another add another camera to the mix, which you know it's always fun to have two cameras filming you, because then you get, it, it, you splice it up. It's a little more interesting. It adds a little more work, but I think it's worth it. And just to know that they look they look super similar is awesome. Like I'm like nice, dude. Uh, you don't, I don't have to fu fuck with like the color too much and super stoked. You had, you had a cup of Mr. Coffees. Now right now it's nighttime. I mean, I'm on this, I get all amped up when I'm filming. I'm like amped up because I'm so excited because I'm, I'm famous now. Uh, but yeah, A7S3 is looking great. What's going on with y'all though? Do you guys want to, we want to chat about? I was going to try to keep this under 15, but we're already at 13, so I might as well just keep it going. And I was going to say, camera battle, I think that a set, my new camera wins, but my old camera came in close second, and people, some people picked the old camera, the A7 III, so that made me stoked, and it made me also realize that I can use both cameras together, and it's going to be a lot less of a headache than I initially thought, and I was super nervous. I was like... About to sell my a7 III and buy a, um, an a7C because supposedly the a7C has a little better color and I can match them up better. But now um, I can use both these, this and what's filming me right now together and it won't be too difficult. So I'm super stoked on that and I'll still always have love for this. This got me into Sony. This got me into full frame. I can't just bail on it. It's just the no flippy screen. I gotta do this hack. And I, I can never ever, luckily I got through, but I can never go back to no no flippy screen. No flippy screen. All right, Carter, Carter's, we got some we got some info going on. Carter says, uh, Scott's a bang off the new jam, bro. I got you, Scott. Um, go on the iPad. I'm with Andy, let's talk honey uts. Honey uts. The potato chips? Uh, Andy says, can we discuss Pretzels the Rabbit? Yeah, sure. So, shout out Logan and Andy. Back in the day in uh, at old UNC Wilmington. Shout out UNC Wilmington. The best college in the world. Y'all are awesome. Go Seahawks. Ka, 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 ka. Oh, really. UNC Wilmington. If anyone's my younger viewers, if you live in the... If you live in America, you can't go wrong UNC Dub. UNCW... It's just the best, man. You can't beat that place. Right, Andy? You can't beat it. When I was younger, I was going to either go to California or go somewhere in, uh, somewhere south because I didn't want to go north because it's freezing and, you know, 
We had that rivalry, you know, South versus North, versus, versus North Dog. Um, but yeah, like I, it was the best. Like, and supposedly they have the, they had the biggest uh, lot east of Hollywood in terms of screen gems. So at Wilmington, they filmed Dawson's Creek. I know I hit One Tree Hill, um, Ninja Turtles, a uh, bunch of bunch of hits. Funny story is Chad Michael Murray is, is sorry if Chad's watching or if someone knows him. I suppose he's a huge dick, and you'd have to call him. I had friends that worked on the One Tree Hill set. You'd have to call him Mr. Ch Mr. Chad Michael Murray or something, or Mr. Mr. Chad Michael Murray every time you talk to him. And he was like the worst, and that's probably why you don't see him working anymore. So it's a funny business, because unless you're like at the Tom Cruise level or Christian Bale level, like you're not, you can't really go too crazy uh, with demands because you're easily, you're easily replaced. So unless you get to that, you know, like I said, Tom Cruise level, you're allowed to go on a, a rampant uh, vocal spree on set about the COVID protocol because you're Tom Cruise. Where you're Christian Bale, you're allowed to yell at someone for being an amateur. That famous uh, famous video, like, you're so amateur. Uh, Christian Bale is the best. So, yeah, Chad Michael Murray supposedly kind of sucks. Uh, all right, so, yeah, so back to the story. So we lived, uh, Andy, Logan, and myself lived in Carl's place, Carlton Way. And there was a, we had a pet rabbit who lived outside. He's kind of like Mr. Squirrel. That's hilarious. I have a pet squirrel now. I'm just drawn to these rabbit uh, animals that probably have like diseases that live near me outside. Um, Pretzel's the squirrel. I made a movie from it, a couple movies, I think, a short film. And he lived outside and he was our best friend. He's probably still chilling there. He's probably, he didn't die. He didn't go to rabbit heaven. No way. So Pretzel's the rabbit. Shout out. You the man. Hope you're good. All right, let's see. Let's catch up here. Carter said, "Qua qua, it's the tops." Wilmington, yeah. Uh, Scott said, "My uncle Lee went to UNCW. You probably didn't know that, did you?" Oh dang, I did, Scott. Wow, your uncle Lee went to UNCW. Cool. You know, I visited Cape Fear CC. Oh, nice. Yep, Cape Fear Community College. Yep, it's like Tidewater Community College. Also, Wilmington used to be. It was a woman's only college. So when Wilmington, for, UNC Wilmington, first was a college, it was uh, UNC. Wilmington for women's or whatever it was only it was for women it was like a women's college and then they like up the ante and, and you know let, let the boys in and then it turned into a shit show but yeah Wilmington you can't you can't beat it shout out the film department Dave Monahan, Silva's Terry Linehan Glenn Pack Glenn Pack you the fucking man Glenn Pack Glenn Pack man hey not my movie You'd be filming movies with my one film teacher, Glenn Pack, and be like, oh, do we film this in what F-stop? Or, oh, my God, how would you develop this film? <laughs> not my movie. He would just, he was basically uh, Matthew McConaughey, if you can imagine that, as your film teachers. That was awesome. Carter said, play the Pretzels theme song for Tom Cruise. He did, he died. Oh, I guess he did die. Okay, I can't, my memory sucks. From here, go anywhere. <laughs> That's why so many chicks at Wilmington. Yeah, there's, I mean, Wilmington, just like hot chick heaven. Um... Uh, Andy said 70-30. Oh, yeah, it is 70. There's way more girls, and it's like Southern Belle, so just the best. Scott said bros before hoes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Scott, your new banger. I don't know if we have uh, the Pretzels theme song. Let's see. Let's get Scott. Let's get Scott's new banger in here. Dog ate pretzels. Did he really? <laughs> A dog ate the rabbit? Jeez. Hopefully it doesn't happen to Mr. Squirrel. Um, Mr. Squirrel's been coming in my room lately. Like he comes in and like, so we're getting to the next level. I'm just kind of scared he might have uh, rabies or some disease. Uh, but you know, we're gonna go with it. We're, we're super tight. Like we play and so Mr. Squirrel's the man. All right, let's see, Scott. I don't know if I have, uh, Andy, I don't know if I have the music on here. I could find Try to find, uh, I think I'd have it on the computer. Let's get a couple Scott bangers. All right. We got some new Scott bangers. Scott, are you like tripping acid with these now? What's, you're like going on this like, are you synthesizing 
Tripping balls? What's going on? You're all about these electric tronic jams? You got about three new jams in Sakava. Yeah, I, I, I listen to them all. They're great. Scott said he was in OBX. Uh, it was firing. It looked really good, man, that video. Uh, and he said, your next guest, Mr. Squirrel. Yep, yep. Mr. Squirrel, get him in. Get him in. Is it loud enough? I wish I could save. Oh, maybe that's a little deal. Because, like, the chats are kind of fun. Ah, fuck. I need... I should be screen recording the video because then it will screen record the chats. And then I can put that on the bottom left corner. That's what I need to do. It's too late now. Scott, we gotta get you on Hero's Journey, but do you even have a, do you, you don't have an iPhone. You know what, you, your technology is still from 2011, right? So you can use your uh, computer. I'm, I can, we can also do Zoom. I'm debating if I'm gonna do Hero's Journeys on Zoom when I interview, but it's so easy to use Instagram and I, and I wanna make it easy for the guests. We got another Scotty Road banger. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Scott said I got an Android. He's waiting for Hippie Biden to send him a check. Cool. I actually got a debit card, or I got a, a card. Biden hooked it up with a card, which is kind of funny because I can't pay rent with the debit card. But um, I bought a so I bought a warranty for the Sony A7S III. Thank you, Biden. And then I like took out some cash because I like to have three hundred dollars in cash for, just in case the zombie apocalypse happens. So I would suggest always to have a big stack of cash so when the when they're coming at you, the zombies. You grab your cash. You know, you jump in your car and you have your bug out bag in your car. You have one in your car and one in your room, and then depending on what you gotta do, you know, you got your cash, the bag, and you're running from the zombies. I, I got the card too. Yeah, true, Andy, I got the, the card cash too. Yep, you, yeah, I did that at Bank of America. My problem is I still have San Diego uh, County Credit Union as my bank, because they're awesome and I don't wanna ditch them. So it's hard for me to deposit cash. I can take out cash, but it's, they have branches in Orange County, but, Shout out S, uh, SDCCU, y'all, y'all, the bees knees. Listen again. But yeah, I need to get on the LA uh, credit account credit union, but um, it's been working fine. I just can't. I just have a little bit of trouble taking out cash or putting in cash to my bank account. Someone's gotta buy almonds for Mr. Squirrel. Make it rain. <laughs> I would do that, but I don't want to like clean up the money. Um. We can't, we can't feed the squirrel. We got, we all got in trouble at the complex because I think everyone was feeding the squirrel, and we got a note on our door that says you can't feed the squirrels. So I unfortunately can't. But luckily, Mr. Squirrel and I are like our bond is so tight that he doesn't want food for me anymore. I think. I mean, he probably does, but I think we're like actually friends now because we'll just come and hang out and I'll do a little like. You know, pretend he's a dog. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing? And he's like, kind of look at me, and we're like, I think we're friends. So, because I haven't fed him in a while, because I'm, um, you know, um, I listen to authority. I wish I was more. Fuck authority. Sign of the majority. Built by the system. Now it's time to rise against him. Just HJs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. HJs, baby.
This one's cool, Scott. Uh, Scott said, Biden caught wind of the squirrel, said you can't feed the animals con contributing to global warming. <laughs> True, yeah, because then you're feeding them, they're pooping. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Wow. We're going. We're going in. We're going in big, y'all. We're at 25 minutes. <clears throat> what else is cracking? Since we're already this far now, it's like whatever. And we're just having fun. Cool down, brother. Pretzel's theme song is on YouTube. It is. Wait. I think. Um. I I made that movie with pretzels. The squirrel, the rabbit, the bunny's name was was pretzels. So, oh yeah, it was called cheese sandwich something. That song was cool. Ah, crap! It's not gonna pop up. One sec, one sec. Oh come on. Um, what was it called? Damn, if I grab my computer, um, all right, one second, Andy, one second. Yes, the movie. <laughs> I know, where, 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 where is that thing? Here, one sec. Library, your videos, your videos, let's see here. Oh, oh it's because I'm on my other, uh, hold on a sec. Travis Varga. Oh, Chase, what's up, dude? The song is all time, the movie. Chase, what's cracking? Y'all got some pow pow. Chase, you should come on up. We're gonna do Heroes Journeys uh, like interviews, and you're a successful guy, so come on the show and tell me how you got from uh, being a chump in a. Oh, we got Jamie too. Wow, uh, and VB to now being a stud. What's up, dude? Nothing much, man. Oh yeah, we at the beef now. Oh sick, your dad's not there, is it? Is he? I got the like. Uh, did he have a place there? Still there? Um, I'm trying to find this movie really quick. All right, your channel. Trav, Jamie says Trav. Nah, okay. Can I dial in on the live combo like T Lin or what? Yeah, I think Scott. If you want to get in here, I think you just hit. Oh, Chase said I have a condo here. 13 inches counting. Oh wow, he's Android Nation. Who is um. Oh, Tyler, yeah, yeah. I think you can, I think you just, like, request to be live or something. If you want to, oh, wait. I don't see this person live videos. Just let me know if, you, if you're trying to get on, if you want to hop on. I mean, I don't know if you're in your makeup or not. Um, if, Give me one sec, y'all. I'm, I'm looking for a movie, an old movie. Oh, Wow. It might not be that crazy, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm skimming down all my movies. For some reason, y'all... Oh, shit. Three years ago. Oh, crap. Damn, for some reason, is it not on here? That's lame. No, it has to be. Oh, dude, that's lame. That's lame, dude. It's not on here. Uh, is that a Loom Cube in the back? Oh, Loom Cube. Play some Betsy. Uh, let me let me grab my computer. One sec. One sec. One second. One second. Cause I, I Andy, I got a, I got um. Come on, eject, eject. I got a. Uh, I found the Conspigus album. I found the Conspigus album. Oh wow, the chat is just popping. All right, one sec, y'all. Uh, Chase, it's not a Loom Cube. You mean this thing? Oh, those things behind me? No, those are just like, I did get one of these circular lights that all the influencers have as a gift. And it actually works really good. These are not loom cubes. Oh, this one's dying. It's, uh, these are, um, like just these LEDs that I bought like 10 years ago. And they use like six AA batteries or these rechargeable batteries. But they're pretty sweet because they have a dimmer. So... You just dim it up or down. This battery's dying. So I'm gonna put in a new battery right now. There are these like big ass batteries. And then put in a new battery. And then boom, we're, we're locked in. We're locked in. It's 
Bright. I like it bright. Oh wow, yep, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Um, so not a limb cube. Uh, we still got, we gotta play some of the, these, this pretzels. We have pretzels, uh, requests. Let's see here. Music. Uh, Jamie said, what camera are you using? This is just the iPhone, Jamie, but I have my Sony A7S III filming for, uh, the final upload. Sony A7S III. It's thirty. It's a lot of money, but it's the best camera ever. If you're looking for a good camera, Jamie, you should get um, like the that DJI like stick one that's like real small, or there's like the Sony ZV one or something that's kind of similar. Confirm it's called cheese sandwich pretzels. Yeah. <laughs> um. Here we go. Cause yeah, I found the, the album. What was the song, Andy? Was it? What the fuck is going on here? Here we go. This is, so this is the first album I ever made with Logan Clark. Oh, nice. Uh, Jamie said, is it a Nikon XLL 6000? Ooh. I'm, I don't, I'm kind of out of Nikon camp, cause, I'm out of the Nikon camp, cause, uh, I would say Canon. I mean, Nikon's still six. Supposedly they're going out of business, though. I guess because Sony's just crushing the game so hard. Um, yeah, but I think Nikon's still sick. <laughs> Scott said, "Hey, treat yourself a cheese pretzel." Chase said, "You're an influencer." I know. I guess I am, dude. It's kind of. I mean, it's kind of sweet. Not really. Maybe it's cool. Well, like, I don't have tits and an ass, so, like, I don't get as many views as I should get. Because, like, my boobs and butt aren't, like... They're, first off, they're not on display. You know, I like to say covered. And second off, they're not that great. So, you know. Sex sells, guys. Sex sells. Unfortunately, I'm not selling it. So, I'm trying to sell, like, in intellectual conversation, I guess, or something. And it's, it, it's, it's getting up there, but... Sex will always be that top seller. That top seller. Put that jam back on. Put the, Scott said, put that jam back on. Put the Scotty Road Nation. Chase said, party. Jamie said, locked in. Chase said, this is better than The Bachelor. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah. Is The Bachelor on right now? I'm competing with The Bachelor? Sweet. Jamie said, I like cannons. Cannons are the best. Can I mean, they're not the best, but... If you don't, if you don't know what you're doing in terms of like you don't want to, you just want to turn it on and use it. Canons are the best. Sony's just gotten underneath them, and now they're kind of equal. But Canons, like, dude, I, it depends on if you want a big camera. But like a TXI Rebel is great. But yeah, the Osmo, DJI Osmo, I would get that. Jamie said Sony's are too cool for me. They're kind of cool. Uh, and he said the videos on YouTube, cheese sandwich pretzels. Okay. 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 Really? It must be on, uh... Did you find it, Andy? Uh, it might be, like, on the film... It was a film festival. And, uh... The theme was, like, a, chi a cheese sandwich. She had to incorporate a cheese sandwich into the movie. So I just had the rabbit eat, like, a... Uh... Grilled cheese that we made. And we filmed the whole thing. It might have been on, like, GoPro or something. Uh, cheese sandwich pretzels. Let's see here. Oh, I found it! Here it is! Oh my god, 11 years ago. It's on the CS Film Festival website. Alright, here we go. So we're, we have a live pretzels, uh, the rabbit. R.I.P. pretzels viewing. Alright, so this is made this is over ten years ago, y'all. 
Your boy's been in the game for a while. Alright. Oh shit! So we're getting the sandwich ready for the rabbit. And this is supposed to be his point of view. Oh, well, there he is. He's coming to get the tea sandwich. In retrospect, you probably shouldn't feed a bunny uh, bread or cheese. <laughs> oh, he got it. This isn't the song, though. <laughs> This song's pretty sick though. Wow. These are bangers on here. Oh, this is this is the song. This is it. The cheese sandwich, the pretzels theme song. He's cute. That's him, now he's licking the camera. He's so happy because we gave him the cheese sandwich. <laughs> this video is hilarious. Oh shit, dude, this video is an Oscar winner. These are these are ten year old tree beats right here from Logan Clark. This is pretty sick actually. All right, there we go. It has somehow it has fifty one views. April 29, thousand nine. Ten years ten years old. Carter, you're the man. Good looks. Good looks, man. Good looks, wow. Yeah, so that whole that whole uh, movie was about, or the whole film festival was just about cheese sandwiches, and you had to make a plot out of it. And it was pretty cool. All right, so we lost some people in the chat. We lost some people because we were, you know, the the, the Brownings had to dip. Kind of contest me to be on the Bachelor. Jamie asked, I would be. Oh crap! What's going on here? Boom. We back, we back. I was gonna, um, I was going to format the cards and I didn't. See, that's what happens, guys, when you're in a, when it's ham a chow. All right, uh, what kind of contestant would I be on The Bachelorette, Jamie asks. I would be, I don't know, I guess like the surfer nice guy, I guess. I probably would get kicked off pretty quick. I'm um, unfortunately, I'm just not uh, jackass enough to last longer on there unless you know well, whatever i don't know i i don't know uh what kind of contestant would you be on the bachelorette yeah i guess the surfer nice guy yeah that, that's how i'd be scott said you still chapstick in your crack before sesh <laughs> chapstick in your crack am i still putting vaseline on my butt before i surf uh no no i mean sometimes i do when i just have a rash but like not uh, not every time before I surf. I've been put on my neck though a little bit. Uh, Chase says safety time. Have a good safety meeting. Carter said yes. That was a good viewing, Carter. You're the man. That was sick. Hopefully that picks it up. I can pop it in if I need it, but we'll see how the A7S3 picks it up. This is all time. Andy said that was that was a sick movie, man. That movie was sweet. 
I'm gonna have to download that and re-release it. Bam. Thanks, Carter. We're gonna go viral with that shit. Mr. Squirrel, it's coming. Wait for the next segment. Andy Fire UK P on the Betsy era jams. <laughs> Carter wouldn't uh fires for it. Fire emojis. How did number eight up in on signing some real speakers, Treve? I never know. How did number eight end up signing on some Oh, Chase said definitely a nice guy. Yeah, Chase, I wouldn't last, dude, right? Unfortunately, you know, I love you girls, but, you know, you, you, you say you like nice guys, but unfortunately you don't. You don't like us. You don't like until you're a little older, then you might, you know, you might settle for us, but uh, when you're in your prime, you, you, want, the, you want the bad boy, and, and that's cool. It's fine with me. Fine with me. I get it. I get it. It's all good. All good. Um, what we got here? Well, now I restarted it, so now we're at two minutes. Um, but yeah, Chase, uh, or Jamie and Chase, who would you, uh, unable to join, said for, for Andy. That's weird. Uh, Jamie or Chase, what would you be for, uh, Bachelor, Bachelor at, or Bachelor? I, I don't even know. I don't think I've ever actually watched one Bachelor show. Haha, <laughs> you just haven't found a nice airhead yet. Um, Scott says, you mean like a, a airhead girl? <laughs> like, like a ditzy girl? True, true. True. <laughs> nice airhead. <laughs> They're hard to come by, yeah. I mean, I'm in the belly of the beast here, dude, in LA. It's, it's slim pickings. It's slim pickings. Um, dude, I'm, I'm married to the game right now. I'm married to the game. I'm, I got heroes journeys to make. I got IPAs to drink. I, I guess I got stuff to do. I, I'm busy. I'm busy. You know, I'm not. I'm not uh, opposed to it. But right now, I'm just in the zone, man. I'm in the zone. Um. Ah, this is too funny, Scott. I put on a random song, and look, there's another Scotty Row banger. This came out five years ago. Remember, Scott, we made this in in that big bills in the in that when I had like the sickest studio room ever. I had like the sickest studio in Virginia Beach at Big Bill's house. I had like a sub that was like humongous. I had a sub that was like four feet tall, two feet wide. It was like a big box, like a humongous Amazon box sub. And those huge monitors. And we just had this huge setup and a big TV monitor. It was sick. Scott said that was a delight of a sesh. Yeah, it was. Andy said good night. Andy. Oh, Andy's got to be up early. Yeah. You got that uh, drive to um, East SD. What's it called? The drive to uh, whatever it's called. Town in the East. Not El Camino. Whatever it's called. Scott said you don't want none of that LA trash. You a good old VB boy. True. Well, it's funny. I live in VB now. I live in Venice Beach. So it's kind of funny that I grew up in VB and now I live in VB. Who knows if I'll be here forever? El, El, El Cajon. Yeah, El Cajon. El Cajon's cool. El Cajon's cool. Laugh out loud. Bill popped up in our face in the closet. <laughs> oh, yeah, when he was out the window or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that was a sick studio, man. Paying the trim, you remember? Yeah, Big Bill was paying the trim. We were making beats. Yep, yep, yep. I remember. Scott, it's pretty late for you. You about to like hop in the in the beat lab or what? Yeah, uh, night, Andy. Thanks for coming on. Let's uh, let's get you on a hero's journey soon. Have good, have a good work sesh. Yeah, Scott, you're about to start making beats, right? It's that time. You're just jazzed up, ready to go. I'm gonna grab another one, one, another one of these. Back. 
Oh, nice. Scott said, uh, I got one in the works, brother. Nice, dude. Nice. What are we going to do, man? Are we going to, like, have to release another album? This is going to be weird if I don't have any music on it. I mean, dude, I got the platform, like, I'll just release the Scotty Rowe album. If you want to start thinking of an album title, I'll just go through and do a quick uh, tree of master on each song. And then, you know, <laughs> if I can just put it out. And then I get all the money. <laughs> I get all the royalties. <laughs> we, we could set it up. Or we talked. We talked. If, I, if you actually make it real big, I'll, you know, send you a check. Uh, Scott said, I got a big meeting in the morning, but always working on them. Only thing I have fun doing. <laughs> Only thing I have fun doing these days. Oh, uh, no. That, that's a lie. But... I agree, dude, I agree, once, like, as a, especially, like, as a producer, you have, like, this time where it's, like, all you want to do, and when you really get this, it's almost like you have all these songs that have to come out, and they've been building up, and if you haven't been in, like, a band producing music, and the song's getting released, it is built up, and then when you have the access, the ability to make the music, and make a song, and it's finished, you get them all, you get them all out. I mean, that's why I have over like a hundred songs literally out you know half of them are just whatever but at the end of the day you don't want to leave this earth without singing your song so that's why you just keep cranking them out because if that's what you're feeling you want to do that's what you do and then one day you might be like oh okay i'm kind of like content like i don't have to make beats right now i'm chilling that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I've just... Because for me, it's like I'm on the computer, and it's almost like I'm coding, and... I, know, I just try to limit my computer time, because we're looking at screens so much that... I just try to limit computer time. And a lot of times, producing music, you're sitting there looking on your computer, so... Scott said, uh... Me and uh, Care are about to buy a house. Ooh! And you moving home, living in our studio downstairs. Ooh, nice, dude. Well, congrats on that. That's sick. Are you guys in a Slipping Kings grant? True, man. I mean, I might I might be sticking out in Cali. I mean, now everyone's leaving. Everyone's over California, so luckily it'll be less crowded, and hopefully the prices will go down because everyone's over it. They're all going to Texas, and luckily for me, I have the surfing addiction, which forces me to live by the ocean, and, like, Southern California is just the best. It's the best for surfing. Because the water is still relatively warm. And that's it. The water is relatively warm. There's always waves. Like today, it sucked. And I went in there and had a fucking blast. I walked to my spot. And it was like going off. Waste to stomach. going Like going off. Like in Virginia Beach or in Wilmington or anywhere on the East Coast. It, that would have been like a really good day. It would have been three to four. Fair to good on Surfline. And everyone would have been talking about it. And it was just a normal shitty day here. <laughs> And, you know, so Scott said, Treve, I'm with you, brother. Wish you here. Thanks, man. Me too, man. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe one day, maybe I'll, you know, come back to old Virginia Beach at some point. You know, right now I'm just, just chasing the dream, right, man? We're all chasing the dream. I've come this far. I've come. It's crazy to think of. I'm li living in Venice Beach, Los Angeles, right next to the ocean, and I'm making it work. Like, that's crazy. Think about how competitive this global world has become. And I'm living in prime real estate right next to the beach with a giant window, like a king. And I'm not even that wealthy at all. Like, if I really had to classify myself, I'm probably like lower middle class. If you really like looked at my tax, if you looked at my tax reform, tax re returns, I'm in poverty <laughs> but let's pretend that doesn't exist but yeah moving to LA was actually like one of the best decisions I've, I've made because I, I prolonged it for a while because I thought oh it's LA like like it's kind of hoity-toity now that I'm here it's all good and luckily I live by the beach so I like I'm just still living in Virginia Beach Virginia it's just I'm in LA by the beach but it took me a long time to get here y'all took me a long time I mean, I moved out of Virginia and North Carolina in 2011, 12. 
and I lived a lot of places trying to do my thing and I realized LA is where you gotta be if you wanna, you know, do this video art thing and and I went for it and it's really working out. So I'm super stoked and super blessed. And even, you know, and, and the Jordan Belfort job was crazy because I was struggling not getting work for six months. And I was getting more and more broke. I was already the brokest ever. And then working for Jordan, um, it was great. You know, it was a, I got to go from zero to a hundred and I thought I was going to have to, you know, be a little loser in LA for 10 years. And luckily I got to skip a lot of stuff and now I'm kind of a big timer. Not to my, not to my own horn or thinking I'm actually there, but just having that on your resume, having something on your resume like that, it just it speaks volumes. So, got lucky, and it just, you know, it is what it is, y'all. All right, let's see, let's see. Scott said, uh, oh, nice. Scott said, tree OPX is popping lately. Don't sleep on it. Outer Banks is sick. That would be sick to love Outer Banks. I'm scared one day Outer Banks is going to be gone, though. It's going to get washed away. Scott said, uh, Ricky, oh, Ricky, what's up, bro? What's up? Oh, yeah. Scott said, uh, I'm in eight years of the teacher. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, aren't we? Scott said the Roman fam. Thanks, Scott. Shout out your mom and dad. Hope they're good. Um, and he said, saw Belford on Tucker Carlson. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Jordan was on, Jordan Belford was on Tucker Fox News. Because this whole uh, Robin Hood thing is just kind of relevant because it's, it's kind of similar to what Jordan's thing was. So a lot of people are going and having interviews with him. And people that are working that I still have worked with there are, are texting me like, yeah, like we're going on Fox and all this. And it's it's funny when I worked with him, actually he had an interview with Tommy Laren, who <laughs> like kind of got famous off that. Uh, she had like a little rant recently. That was pretty hilarious. Um, how long is this? Can I see how long this has been going? Oh, 54 minutes. Oh, dude, we might have to, we might have to stop this soon, y'all. I gotta keep it under an hour at least. Yeah, the Belford thing on Tucker was funny, Scott. Did you watch that? It was interesting, man. It was interesting. <laughs> Scott said, I'd say my portfolio is strong to quite strong. What do you, uh, this battery's going out. That's okay, we're about to wrap it up. Oh, which battery was the one that was done? What do you mean, Scott, your portfolio? Is that a movie, a joke from the movie? Yes, bro. <laughs> so I gotta remember to charge these. Um, all right, y'all, I think I'm gonna wrap it up, Romine. I mean, it's pretty late for you. My video's about to run out. I gotta reformat memory cards. Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging in there and being the man. Meet the parents. Uh, yeah, meet the parents. Wait, meet the Fockers or whatever? He's like, those are OR scrubs. Oh, are they? Or is that from, uh, is that from Meet the Fockers? I can't remember. <laughs> Luke Wilson, he's like, those are OR scrubs. <laughs> oh, are they? <laughs> Speaking of, uh, um, what's his name? Luke Wilson, uh, idiocracy. We're living in idiocracy, if, if no one realized that. Scott said, yes, it's just us, bro. I'm gonna give you a ring. Cool, man. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, wrap this up. Cause I gotta, I gotta edit these together now. Cause that damn card, card dying is, all right, love you too, man. Um, I guess I'm gonna wrap it up, dude. Had that card dying, now I gotta do a little bit of editing, but luckily, you know, I had to add a, I'm gonna add the title above anyway. So, you know, I, I, gotta, do, I gotta just get better at knowing that editing, you just gotta do it, you gotta do it. I love not editing, but this is one of the, my, my most favorite songs I've ever made. Simple as, as Kid Cudi says, says Simple as. This ring light actually is pretty cool. It's funny, it makes like a ring on your eyes. Cuckoos, it's called cuckoos. 
by me. It's like five years old now. Time's crazy, y'all. You really... It's crazy to think that I made this five years. It feels like yesterday. It feels like yesterday, Scott. We were skating. Remember that time? Were you with is me, you, and Colin? And, uh... Maybe me, you, and Colin, we, like, skated all the way to the beach from my mom, my house in uh, Great Neck. And we got picked up by my mom and, like, went to Burger King. We skated, like, miles and miles. And then, like, we, like... We were gonna, and we skated that five stair at VB, Virginia Beach Ocean front, with like that, uh, uh, that worth, what's it called? Worthless? That sick skate movie. What was his name? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, that was sick, dude. We skated like, that was like five miles. We skated all the way down to the beach, Jimmy Beach from Great Neck, ripped that five, six stair, and then we like didn't want to scale way back, so. Big Sue scooped us and we got Burger King. That was sick. That was sick. Um, what's uh, what's see, what's Carolyn up to? Mike Matthews. Oh yeah, Mike Matthews, Justin Waterfield. Waterfield, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mike and Justin and Clint. Was Clint in the main movie? I think so. Remember one of the, like there was like some porn. Was that the movie where there was like porn in it? Remember? And was her name Tiffany? Tiffany Robinson? That one, or, uh, yeah, they had, like, porn in this, like, skate movie. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Remember that? Junda? <laughs> yeah. There was, like, a blowjob scene in this, like, amateur skate movie made for, like, teenagers. <laughs> that was awesome. That was, like, ooh, porn. So, all right. Our rooms, yeah, good talking. Let's uh, talk soon. Let's get you on a hero's journey, man. Let's uh, we'll plan it. So I'll text you before just so we're ready. And then yeah, we'll just do like this. Like we'll do live, and then I think you can request to go live, or I can send you an invite. I'm looking right here, and then when I send you the invite, you say yes. I think. Um, hopefully the Android iPhone don't get too weird. And yeah, all right. Well, oh wow, there's only. 50% battery. Damn, dude. Uh, Scott said, y'all get care to do makeup. Cool, cool, yep. Gotta get your makeup on point. Makeup and just have like, just be in a, a decently lit area. And maybe be on Wi-Fi. All right. All right, remind. Well, I'm out. Peace, brother. Peace, y'all. I oh, appreciate your stopping by per usual. This went super long. I'm stoked. I wasn't supposed to even do this, and I did it, and look at this. So, all right, until next time, peace.